Hello, I am in Texas, which means that I am in Texas. And I am in Texas because I am recording. I'm filming. When you're filming a bigger project, you say you're filming something. I'm recording a video right now that you're seeing, but I'm filming the sequel to A Heist with Markiplier, which should be very fun, and I can't wait for you to see, but you're gonna have to wait. And meanwhile, I decided that the first video that I was going to record while I was in Texas was going to be Power Wash Simulator. And I'm gonna admit, I was playing it a little bit by myself. I was cleaning the fire station, and I did it by myself. And I was having a good time, but I decided that I was gonna finish it with you. And it's not just because I didn't get to finish it before I left for Texas, and therefore it's a little left done, and it was bothering me the entire time that I was traveling over to Texas because I didn't get to finish it. So now I'm gonna finish it for you. Also, um, it has been brought to my attention that there's a crucial feature in this game that I did not know about, which fundamentally changes the entire experience. <laughs> um, you can rotate it. So, um... <laughs> I know it probably seems obvious to all of you who have, like, context clues and the ability to read and the ability to process instructions that are given to you every single loading stream that you go to. And I know you guys have been sh shouting at me that I should uh, rotate it. And you're absolutely right. Like, you're completely justified in your rage. Even the developers of the game have probably added in some additional information to say, Hey, idiot! You idiot! There! The guy who used to have red hair! The guy who went to Texas to film a project! You can rotate the thing, you dumb dumb! Like, I'm pretty sure they added something in like that for me specifically. All of my own fault, and I will blame no one else because I will not taint this pure game which is purely enjoyable and purely enjoyment with lies. And I will not do that. I can't absolutely promise that last detail there, but I will do my best. Um, as you can see, uh, let me just showcase you the whole vibe. Um, the climbing mechanics still not exactly good. It's not what I would call good. So uh, I, was, I was mopping up this fire station. What I did before is I cleaned up that fire tower first, and then I went over here and started cleaning up the building. Um, really been kind of procedural about this. Uh, it's been very satisfying. And uh, for the most part, like you guys will see everything that I did in the time lapse once that's done. I don't think there's anything here that needs to be there. I'm 95% of the way there, so I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna blast through this in no time. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Huh. Aha, I see you. Okay, well, I'm gonna need the... I'm gonna need the big thing. Come here, you! I summon thee. So, this is a useful big ladder that I would have liked to know about before, and I probably would have known about before, but, you know. It was in that other level, and I was like, Why is this thing in my way? Why is this big thing getting in the way of me cleaning? I don't know. Look how useful rotation is. God, panning left to right is way better than the oh, oh, oh that I was doing before. But it is much better, and, and before even I was like, man, it sure would be nice if I could do a sweeping motion. Boy, wouldn't that be some? Too bad power washing technology isn't there yet. Maybe one of my future generations might be able to enjoy it, but not I, I said with pure idiotic confidence. Ta-da! This uh, firehouse has also been very forgiving in terms of like missing uh, spots here and there. But man, has it been a nice one. This one's treated me right. Oh, and Lixian, don't even worry about cutting out too much of this. You can really leave in quite a bit. You know, even slow down some of the time lapses. I know these are notes that I could have given to you at any point in the editing process, and I didn't. That's because I am a bad YouTuber who does not communicate well to their editors, and I will try better in the future. And I really appreciate everything that you, Rachel, and Marcus do. But if you could make it a little better, that'd be great. Thank you! Oh, what happened to you? All right, let me just plop this. I can, I can definitely fix this. See, look at this sweepage. You just kind of sweep, you know? Look at this, turning, angling, 
dangling. The future is a wonderful place. Everyone's always doom and gloom about the future, but hey, look at this. This is a slice of something special. Oh, I wasn't even really done with that, but whatever. If you're gonna be nice to me, I'm not gonna question it. I am gonna look sidelong at it, though. <sighs> Ain't this grand. Look at that. I know I probably missed some small, obscure detail somewhere that I'm gonna have to go back and fix, but for now, I'm almost done with these, so I can rest assured that my efforts are not- Ah, I see you. I see you there. Look at that! The to-do list! Oh! <laughs> wow! That's incredible! That is incredible! I know what I need to do. I know what I must do. But I don't know if I have the will to do it. I do, actually. I incredibly have the will. I am just stunning. Oh! Look at that! Look at that! Wall base. Well, I don't know where that would be. Wall base. Here we go. Wall base. Wall base? Wall base. Wall base. Ah, wall base. I did not get this. Okay. And then drill tower ledge, which I think is on the tippy toppy of this tower. And you, 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 you. Oh, I found you. Ah, you dirty bitch. How could you be so disgustingly dirty? I am offended. I'm offended for you, and I am offended. Hey, F.A., any chance you could come hose down our spare truck? The mayor's running us ragged over here. Okay. Wow. Look at that. See, I got the tower first, and then just I started, like, wrapping around the building just in sweeps. Oh, that is a mwah. That is a mwah. That's a mwah. That is a mwah. So I learned that I could rotate the hose live. My embarrassment was broadcast to the members of this channel, and I feel very bad about myself and it. I believe that the one that I did for them was the Forest Cottage, so I'll play that, that time lapse for you. And that's what I did there. The roof was a pain. The roof was a gosh darn pain. It was unforgiving, and the slopes were just impossible to walk on. And it's not like I had the big scaffolding either. But it was very fun and very satisfying. I did like it, but there were some details in there that made it kind of annoying. Um, other than that, ooh! Wow. Hey, look at that. I've got a penny farthing. Came a cropper on the old bicycle. Seems an element of rust may have crept in and seized up the ruddy stop blocks. Give the old boy a quick swish and there's a shiny through penny bit in it for you. Who are you? Anyway, I'll watch it. Watch it. Look at that. R. Rotate. Or refill. Who would have known? No one. Okay. Well, this is a nice little thing. Uh, this is going to need some loving attention to detail. Uh, so I'll try to do a manual job about this, because otherwise it's going to be over in two seconds. I'm gonna. I, I've kind of worked out a strategy that, like, I want to make sure that I get the details. Oh, also, you can go prone now, sniper style. So that way, you, uh, if I get the small details first, then I don't have to worry about them. And I can kind of like isolate what I'm doing and definitely be like, yeah, this isn't clean, or yeah, this is clean, or yeah, I'm not clean, or yeah, I'm clean. There's a joke about being dirty in here, but I don't want to gunk up this whole episode with that and this rather nice series with my stupid asinine crude humor. Penis ass butthole balls. Butthole dickhole. Pee hole pee pee pants. I'm a mature adult. Come on, that middle thing is not. Oh, it's considering the whole wheel. Oh, interesting. Maybe it wasn't any kind of nooks and or crannies in this thing. Not really a lot of, uh, of small bits and bobs to the penny farthing, is there? It's not even a gearbox. Now that's looking good. How would you even step on this? Who designed this? I mean, of, of course, Mr. Penny Farthing, I'm, I'm guessing, but... Or Miss Penny Farthing? Who am I to say? 
but also it's stupid. Well, I better look from the top because it's so gosh darn tall. I'm probably spending way longer than this would ever need. Oh, three to do. All right, I guess I'm almost done. I'm just slow. Probably didn't even need the hyper blaster, you know? Probably would have been fine without it, but whatever. I guess this job's over and I won't be satisfied anymore. And the frame, bam. What a tremendous job! He's come out an absolute dream! If he didn't ride so beautifully, I'd flog him to a museum. I don't know what that means, Algernon Evans. Algernon? Algernon. 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 Yeah, I spent a long time on those pedals. I spent way too long on the details of this. It did not need as much. You think it's jealous of that other bike in the background? Not after it get clean, though. That is a good looking bike. Okay, Grandpa Miller. Grandpa. Oh, God, this is the house with the dead people. <laughs> there. Oh, I didn't even read what it said. How am I going to know the lore? Okay. Hello, Doc. I hope you're as good with. Hello, Doc. I hope you're as good with cars as you are with houses because I've got my own wagon out of the garage and it's dirtier than a dog beetle's Christmas list. It still turns over fine, but I'm not taking Dolores out for a sprint till it's just gleaming as she is. Thanks, Leonard. If afterwards you can hit her with the power wash, that'd be great. Lixie and make that more satisfying because I know people are watching this for a little bit of elegance to it. So just do what you can. Put like some smooth jazz under whatever I was shouting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you used to be like a race car driver? Wait, this is a different car than I thought it was. Also, what is the haunting whooshing? There is some deep, scary lore to this game, and I don't know what it is. Well, it's just sweeper. Let's give her a nice wash down first. You might find the streaky line where Bird tried to clean it with his power washer. Dribble washer, more like it. <laughs> Listen, many people feel inadequate to the mighty gush of my power washer. It is quite profound in its blastitude. Lixian, please make bleep everything I just said. Just bleep out this whole episode. Well, me. Me right now. Me. Me right now. No, that. By Jiminy, that's right. I used to race this beast all over. It's got a grunt like an angry rhino. Heck, I won the 1989 race of the champions in it. Race of the champions? Turbo fast car. No, no, I didn't. I watched that on TV. All right, whatever. Whatever, man. <laughs> Just, I'm going to clean your car and you're going you're gonna to tell me more stories about your past. Uh. Man, this new this this like deluxe washer is almost too powerful. It makes things really easy because I'm I'm on the white one, like the widest nozzle, and is still just like blasting a lot of these stains. I mean, the rust and this stuff, yeah, that needs some more intense treatment. But just to get like the bulk of it, I'm already 33% done, and this isn't like too cheap of a job. Uh, not the cheapest job in the world. Some of the rust though, that's gonna need the the turbo blaster. Hey, dirt. Yeah? Wh what? What? Get lost, would you? Okay. I'm gonna ignore that because I don't want to keep shouting in this episode. Power Washing Simulator is not a, not a game to be shouting in. Look, see, just make it like text-to-speech, but make it like very loud text-to-speech. If that sounds bad, don't put it in, but if it's in any way funny, put it in. Ha ha ha. I just imagine the robo voice shouting at the top of his lung. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, don't put in my react. I don't know. Do whatever you want, Lexi. And I, I'm, I'm not the boss of you. I'm actually gonna. This is this is weird, but I'm gonna do a mouse swap. Because I have my, my little wireless mouse here, but uh, it really doesn't get the kind of precision. Like, I like this mouse, but it's it's just a wireless, uh, like, 
imprecise, not gaming mouse. I'm, I, I have another mouse. I'm going to do a, <laughs> I'm going to do a swap. This needs some uh, extra love and precision. I finally feel like a pro gamer, guys. I'm doing a, I, I'm doing a swap. Need top level performance to really enhance my power washing. <laughs> I need to really be a pro gamer, pro gamer. I play games for a living, it makes me a professional. Oh, that's much better. Oh, the precision! Oh, the precision! Oh, the precision! Oh my god, the precision! Let's see if I can get away with this. I don't know if this can kill rust. Can this kill rust? Eh, kinda. Did this, did this thing just turn on? Is Grandpa Miller in the car? How long will you be? I was thinking, uh, Lixian, you got this. How long will you be? I was thinking of taking the car for a tear up down the old abandoned sewer system. I think for the rust, just he got a turbo. It, like, there's no other way to do it. It just needs that kind of like power blasting. And once you get it, it's it's pretty easy to do that. At least you only take one pass. I've had a word with Lenny, and he's certainly not going to be tearing it up down the sewer system. We'll be sticking to Main Street for now. I don't know. He could tear up the sewer system if he wants. I think that'd be pretty dope. It'd be pretty dope to me anyway. The oh my god. I sincerely thought that that was someone standing in the street. That scared the crap out of me. Ugh. Not expecting it in this game, but I'm kind of also a little bit expecting there to be a little bit of a horror twist in this game. It would be the perfect thing. I would be completely unsuspecting. Totally relaxed, you know? All kinds of like, ooh, it's so satisfying. And yet, uh-oh, something's not right. There goes my spleen. Can I just say, like, uh, seeing the response to me playing this game has been pretty lovely. I mean, I thought I was crazy in how much I loved the game. I, I really did. Like, I thought that I was nuts. I thought that something must be wrong with me. Like, why would I play this game four episodes for four hours? I thought it was going to be, like, the biggest waste of time. Like, no one was going to watch it. And yet, like, I'm not crazy. Like, there's something here. There's something about this game. There's something about this. The way the water splashes and the way the dirt just disappears and the way the shine starts to take over on the car. Like, it really starts to come to life once you get into the cracks and crevices and you kind of restore something that was, like, previously kind of beat down. But then, like, oh, and when it does come together, it's just, mwah. And, I mean, the development team has been so nice, too, because they've been, like, commenting that, like, they can't believe that I've been playing the game, too. And I'm like, I can't believe that I'm playing the game either, but it's good. It, it's good. It's good. Also, Ethan told me that he, he sent me, like, a, a code for this game a long time ago, and he was like, hey, you'd probably like this game. And I, you know, like all of his messages, I ignored it. So, <laughs> I mean, I think I just was like, I put it on the back burner. I was like, yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. Like, maybe, maybe it'll happen. Maybe I won't. Who knows? I was busy, probably going to Canada or something. With all my incredible projects that I'm working on. Okay, what am I what am I missing? I don't even know anymore. I don't have the uh, to-do list, so I'm guessing that I have more than just a few. Okay, spoiler. What about the spoiler? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, car, windscreen, wing mirror. Okay, got it. In the nook, okay. Wing mirror. Okay, and then it just says car. I don't know what that means. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, God, I see what that means. What the hell? And that is pretty good. And I think in three, two, one, done. Doc, the car looks so fresh. You are so a pastor, ha ha. I cannot wait to see old Bert's face when me and Dolores streak past his front yard and he sees what a power washing pro can do. Yeah, suck it, Bert, and your weak power washing skills. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's nice. I 
feel like I've got a pretty good strategy when I do this. Like I do, I, I go over the whole thing, I get the small details, and then I start to blast the bigger, but more persistent stains. I don't think there's anything new to buy, by the way. I think it's just, ah, oh man, I can't wait for a professional duty washer. Like, I don't know if they're going to have a whole line of washers with all these kind of different things that you got to use for different stains. And like that'd be cool and all, but I just kind of like, I don't know, maybe I want a professional duty one. Maybe I'm fine with the one I got because it's really not about like the speed of the wash. It's just like doing whatever you do. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So they changed it up how soap works. I don't know. Soaps are stupid. Anyone that is soaps doesn't really respect the craft. And I respect the craft. What do we have here? Ooh, what do we have here? All right. Well, that's dirty, all right. I'm going to say this right now. Oh, my God. Someone was someone trying to get in or someone trying to get out. Lots of little knickknacks. This a 300 buck job. Yeah, I guess if I did the whole building for however many dollars I did. All right. Well, I guess we could just start with the front, you know. I'm not going to do the whole wraparound like I've done before going to focus on like the details of it because I mean this is a big thing so if I don't get everything on the front first I don't think I'm going to notice it oh yeah that is a lot of baked in rust that is some caked on rust this actually might call for uh, soap like I'm not, I'm not going to lie this job might need some soap especially for stuff like that that is so obviously baked in there like, I know I said soap was stupid, but it, I like I, I don't intend to use soap as like a blanket sweep, get everything done quick as possible. I think it, it's its best purpose is obviously for uh, stains that need the like this. Look, it's just like super blasted. So it's probably better for using it on like, yeah, this stuff needs. Can I get more? Reload. Reload. Oh, I got to buy it beforehand. That makes sense. I have to buy it beforehand. Well, it looks like I'm not doing any, uh, any of that. Hmm. I mean, that's good. That makes sense. That's controlling me a little bit. You have to pre-plan your buys. That kind of like puts a thing where you, okay, I got to make sure I got everything I need for the job before I go out for the job. Unless I can just go to the... Interesting. Well, I might as well stock up. I got nothing else to buy. Okay, I went to the store and I'm back. <gasps> Man, that was tough. Oh, that's nice. It just puts all the soap uh, in the the place with the thing. Yeah, see, this stuff is stubborn. Oh, that stuff is stubborn in there. Yeah, my God, that's in there. Woo, get that grill done. How's this bumper not done yet? Am I missing something on the bumper? You part of the bumper? No. There we go. Okay. And that is a clean front. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. And that is a clean front. That is. No, it's not. Okay. And. Okay. That is a clean front. That looks good. Man, it really looks bad by contrast. That is just... Ugh. But we can continue on with just like the normal washers for now. I think unless something like super, super, super ingrained with like rust. Rust is really the biggest bitch. And I think like the, I can just imagine that the soap is some specialized rust killer. Because otherwise it is just... Ugh. It is just gonna be caked in there. Except for like this hubcap, like clearly I can I can blast this individually. I said clearly I can blast this individually. I said clearly I can blast this individually. Clearly I can blast this individually. I swear to God, what is wrong with you? I said clearly, I can blast this. <laughs> My God, what is wrong with this thing? Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. God, the rotated version is so much more useful than like any other orientation. How did I do this flat for so long? 
How did I do it? I don't know. I'll tell you what, this truck is a beaut underneath this grime. And I guess, like, it's understandable. It's kind of driving into fires, so... Yeah, this doesn't make sense. I should have left the handprint. There's a theory that the cat's not really missing. What do you mean? What do you mean? That the mayor's using it as a distraction device so no one notices all that pipeline stuff. What do you mean? What do you mean? Pipeline stuff, what are you talking about? Is this the dark, dirty underbelly of the power wash simulator law? The law that I've been craving, that I'm sure Matt Pat has been concocting at this very moment? Unmistakable. All right, wheel, you gonna be a bastard? There we go, now that's more like it. Oh, this side is grimy. Oh, this side is grimy, it's got rusted. I'm gonna hit this part with the soap, definitely. Cause this is just, oh, this is crusty. Yeah, let's just go ahead and soap it up. All right, let's see if we can finish off these. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Okay, that's good enough for now. Ooh, tire. How are you not done? How are you not done? There we go. Okay. So that is the front half of the truck looking pretty good, except for probably the top. So let's get that good. What does that say? Police, police, fire drills. Police rules, fire drills. I'm gonna big disagree on that. Okay, and that is the front cabin. Very nice. Oh, look, it's beautiful. It is something special. Now to get the rest of this. Um, lots of little knickknacks. I might as well just blast it. Just because there's so many little knickknacks. Hey, do you know if the mayor's cat still is missing? I'm up at the volcano and I think I can see him on the outer rim. I'm going for a closer look. Uh, <laughs> if I hear a big explosion from the volcano nearby, I'm gonna assume that that did not go very well. Oh, it, it counts it as one big thing. The control panel is like one unit. Oh, interesting. My stupid. I'm not seeing any more dirt. That might be stupid. I'm gonna go to the other side. Yeah, I would have done the this with the other side from the get-go if I had known it wasn't just a lot of individual parts. Cause that is the problem with the soap, is like, if you use it like a shotgun blast, it's really not going to do what you want it to do. You really just got to use it on like the super stubborn stains that are over big, large areas. Because it would just be the best tool for the job at that point. It would be worth the money. Just because of the time investment alone. But let's see if this actually cleans all of this, or if there's something still missing to it. Which it seems like there is. Wow. How stubborn are you gonna be? The answer is apparently very stubborn, you asshole. Get clean! Oh, it got clean. Interesting. Yeah, I think the problem is, like, these are actually nooks, and these are crannies, so I can't see to the bottom of them. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, you way hole. That is where things get easier. Look at this. Look at this. Barely any fire touched this one. We have a lovely little job for you up at the house when you're free. Ara Smith and Jenny Pebbles. Okay. Weird names, but I'm not going to question. It's definitely Ulysses. I can see his funny leg. Don't go in the volcano, buddy! Why would a cat hang out 10 feet from a lava flow, though? Yeah, maybe it's not a cat, maybe it's a demon. You, you ever think about that? You ever think that maybe it might not be a cat, and actually it is one heck of a demon? 
You ever think maybe Demon? World's best log fire. I don't know if cats like log fires. I'm pretty sure I don't, I've never polled cats before on their preferences of fires, but I don't think log ranks very high. Um, and I don't think that you should theorize much about a, fire, a cat's preference of heat 10 feet from a volcano. And Vincemer, wah. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, and that is the back for the most part. And then one more side, and then we got the top, and then we're pretty much done with this. Not much left to go. It's been a pretty fun one. There's like some challenging bits to it. Uh, like with the handles and whatnot, but like nothing a procedural blast with the turbo filter could do. Once again, proving that soap is for losers and fools. And every time I try to justify soap's existence, I remember that the developers wanted to make it easy for some people. But in, in doing so, it's a trap. Uh, because they wanted people that wanted the easy way out to get stuck with a perpetual cycle of buying soap and feeling inadequate about themselves. Which is exactly how I don't feel. I feel incredible about myself because my skill is incredible and I'm not going to remember that I forgot how to rotate the nozzle for about four episodes. I played this game for 11 hours before I learned that I could rotate the nozzle. That's probably not good. That's probably a bad track record. I'm gonna say that straight up. I'm an idiot. No idiocy that I've ever done is probably intentional. I wish it was. All right, uh, actually I'm gonna leave this letter over there because I don't want it getting in the way of my cleanliness. Boy, howdy, that's spotty. Ah, uh, this is actually where soap would come in handy. Whee! I'm doing the thing that I said only idiots would do. La 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 However, this is kind of exactly what I prescribed when I was trying to justify soap's existence. Large areas of probably particularly difficult things to clean, like rust. Okay, is it done? Nope. See, it's so spotty. It's so spotty. Listen, uh, developers of this game, unless you make the soap a bit more uh, engaging in terms of its mechanics, I don't see it actually being any better than just straight up washing. Who uses soap anyway? Take it out of the game. Take it out. Don't even let it be an option. Hey, there we go. Tires. Tires. Damn. Okay, and handles. There must be some more handles that I've missed. Aha. Da da. And that one's okay. Handle. Blah da. F.A., you're a legend. That was absolutely pristine. Even the rust's gone. That should get the mayor off our backs for a while, which means we can all get back to doing the jobs we're paid for. Thanks, pal. Oh, yeah. There she blows. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a nice one right there. Oh, that's a nice one. I did pretty good on that one. I did pretty good. I did pretty good. I am not too upset about that one. Ooh, wreck vehicle. I think that one might be one of the new ones in terms of uh, the latest update. Uh, but hey, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for enjoying this series. I really do appreciate you guys uh, sticking around with me for it. And I know I've said it a lot, but check out Distractable if you haven't. The only reason I say it so much is because I'm having so much fun with Bob and Wade making the uh, podcast. It's really just an excuse for us to have fun and I think you guys will honestly enjoy it. It's a lot of laughs. Like those guys make me laugh so damn hard every week. Uh, so every Monday we put out a new podcast. So go check it out. Links in the description. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'm going to be off filming the uh, sequel to Hype. So thank you. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.